machine is blowing up Please keep your seats now and prepare for the crunch Yeah, this machine is filling up Please join the queue and get ready to jump These pleasant yellow skies Ladies and gents, to Minecraft. I'm Moss Gullies. Let's play. So, this is my first time recording. I was going to start last year, but I was kind of uh, busy, I guess, so didn't start till now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be pretty rubbish to begin with, but I hope to get better with the time. Because just trying it out before, uh, trying it out before, just practice. It's really hard to try and talk at the same time as playing the game, so hopefully I'll get better at it and become a bit more entertaining for people. But yeah, I'm starting a new channel, it won't just be Minecraft, hopefully, other games, if people are interested. And uh, I've got some plans for the videos, even if no one decides to watch. But hopefully some people will, will enjoy it. Um, basically my idea surrounding this series is to um, sort of focus on the new 1.8 snapshot, or 1.8 snapshots, and well, 1.8 in general, because I'm quite excited for a lot of things coming out for it. Um, especially the water temples. So I'm hopefully going to find one, build my base around it, underwater. The uh, series is probably going to be fairly redstone oriented. I, quite, I enjoy making things in Minecraft which are fairly complex and unnecessary but interesting all the same, so hopefully if you like that sort of thing you'll stick around and watch. Uh, the other thing I quite like to do with this channel is uh, make it a bit more um, community oriented, so a lot of input from people in the comment system would be nice, and if you have any suggestions for things to do in the series, then happy to have a look and have a try go and do them. Uh, one thing I'd really like is maybe to get the community involved in doing something like um, suggesting skins for me to use in the series throughout, and uh, maybe have like a monthly skin that I use from people who they've designed, and uh, maybe have a sort of like monument system to every skin I use. Maybe like as a thank you and a credit to everyone who gave me one. Yeah, it'd be pretty interesting, I reckon. Um, if it works out. I'm not expecting massive amounts of support from this at the beginning. Maybe it would be happy if I, at the end of the day, get maybe about a thousand or so subscribers. That'd be pretty cool. And I know that a lot of people have done a similar thing, and it's probably not that interesting watching them hit trees, but it's the same thing everyone does in the start of the game, so. Just gather a load of wood at one go, and then I'm done for a while. So. Yeah. Probably make a craft bench now. Should have done that a while ago. But hopefully, yeah, this should be interesting for some people. So maybe I'll get a bit of a subscriber base. So yeah. I mean, like a lot of people who started YouTube up at this sort of stage. I've watched quite a few people do it and I thought maybe I'd have to do it myself. And uh, maybe people find what I do interesting. Of course, uh, although I quite enjoy redstone, I'll kind of make that clear now. I enjoy doing redstone stuff and mechanical stuff, mucking around with minecarts and mob spawners and all that sort of thing. I don't 100% believe in efficiency over aesthetics, so and you see it a lot of time where people design things for redstone and they go, oh, you could have made this a lot better by having this here and this here and this here. And you see people's designs on the internet and they're as efficient as they possibly could be, but don't look very nice, so I'd kind of like to avoid that. 
I don't know why I'm staircasing down. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to avoid the uh, sort of look of crop protection. Oh, there it is. Now, because I kind of want to do this sort of idea of focusing on the new water temple, I can't really build the home base straight away, which is what most people do. In fact, I'm probably going to try and avoid doing the typical thing of, well, I've probably done the standard thing straight away of punching a tree, but you can't avoid that. I'm trying to avoid the typical thing of building like a dirt hut and, uh, sort of sheltering in that, waiting for the next day because it's kind of boring. So I'll probably try and go caving as soon as possible. I saw a cave over there. And the other thing I had in mind was a personal challenge for myself and I've already screwed up. I've just realised I did it, which is annoying. But oh well. Is basically I want to have like a firsts system. So the first stick I get, the first log I get and everything, first chest. Um, I want to keep them all basically separate and have like a sort of, uh, what's it called, um, sort of like a museum to firsts, which I reckon would be a bit interesting, so like first iron sword, first stone sword, pickaxe, wooden pickaxe, all of that. Um, yeah, which Makes it kind of awkward, but I kind of like the idea of having a museum of first, which I've already ruined because I've messed up the first time. But, yeah, if I managed to do that, that'd be quite cool. I mean, it's going to get annoying, so when I get diamonds, the first diamond I get can't just be made into a pick, but... Also, when I'm getting things to stack, I'm going to be a bit cheaty and just say one of those from the first stack, because it's kind of awkward otherwise. I mean, I could go to the effort of individually selecting things, but that's not the main idea, so. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. And I'm sure someone will happily point out in the comments loads of times when I get a first and forget this rule completely. So, that can be extra fun for you guys. Interestingly enough, if there's anyone watching who's uh, tried this before, I'm actually really surprised because when you watch people do it professionally, there's no problem just talking to people, which is quite impressive because it's literally talking to yourself in a room on your own. And yeah, when you sort of have this moment of wondering if you're going mad or not talking to yourself. Let's hang some hot stuff. Nice. I'm having to double check. I put four in there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to some coal at this point. It's a good cave, thank you. Thanks, Notch. Um, that was one over there. Um, yeah, so. I'd very much like to hear in the comments section, if anyone is watching this, what they think of these sort of ideas about the sort of community involvement of having, say, like skins designed by different people, and like uh, inputs into build ideas. And I'd love to like have people send me their designs and things for, that I'd love to like build into this world itself. And I can run again. You know what, I'm going to make an axe first. Because screw waiting for protection. Okay. I don't really need this much wood. But probably more useful. Just to make a sword. Technically faster if you use a sword. Break leaves. Nice. Much time. It's getting dark. 
PVC. Yeah. I think to begin with I'll probably do it in sort of 15 minute chunks for an episode because it's surprisingly hard to talk for longer than that for an episode and keep it interesting. Bollocks. I wasn't paying attention to the sword. Okay, do over for the sword. I'll just... Oh, no, buddy. I'll go straight to just memory of something I've just lost. You know what? I'll just remake the pick just to avoid using it. That's that one. And I'm going to quickly look at the coordinates just so that I know where. Does that also show the seed? No, it doesn't. Oh, I thought it did. Never mind. It might do, and I'm just not missing it. Anyway, I really need some coal. Um, I've realised I haven't put the brightness up. Maybe useful for people who are watching it on YouTube. I've probably spent the first five minutes or so just going through the parts of the Oh, nice coal. Exactly what I wanted. As you can tell by the fact that my brightness was so low, I'm not really professional at this yet. You get it. It's quite unlikely. I don't mean professional to do it as a job, but I mean just competent. It's probably a better way of saying it. Uh, you watch some people who do it professionally, they're not always that competent. <laughs> In fact, some people make their money out of the fact that they do it professionally but aren't that competent. Okay, this is not good. There he is. Um, okay. Let me just cut. I'm recording this still. I mean, there was a bit of a cut there, chicken. Um, to or well, just on the off chance that I actually uh, happen upon a cave. Because I could do it straight away. Which, oh, crap. Lops. Oh, right. oh nice. Um, um, oh, is that no? I'm not sorry, I'm just going to stick this down. Back there. And I shouldn't jump because it's wasting my time. Die, die. Um, that's just irritating. But I oh, I did go there. Just run. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Thank you. Do the rest. Nope, don't do that. Do that. Uh, box. And that's it. That's a bit more intimate, but I think it'll do for me. So, staircasing down. I might cut here until I find a cave. I don't know. I, mean, I could just down immediately stumble on me. And then, I'm pretty sure that. Ooh, iron, nice. And that's my first iron block. Separate that out so I don't mix it up from now on because I'm a competent person. I'll put that there. And I'm going to. Oh, nice, but I have to pick. Animal coal. That's, that's perfect. Oh, I forgot to say coal. Oh. I remember to say one coal. Okay. I'm doing episodes of firsts. Ooh, okay. uh, what was that? Rubbish that comes out of my mouth sometimes. Um, so I'll do an episode of basically where I cock up and 
forget that I'm doing an episode of Firsts and a series of collecting the Firsts. And next episode, hopefully, I'll be a bit more confident. Right. And now I can see a thing because I am incompetent. Oh, that's it. Over there. Then I am finding a crap ton of iron, which is always nice. Also, there may be noises in the background. I have a dog wandering around my feet at the moment. I have no idea how she got in. Well, I know how she got in the house, it's my dog, but how she got in this room, here's another map. And a fly, which is really annoying, and I hope the mic doesn't pick it up. In fact, I might just cut here to get rid of it. Okay, you can go outside. Right. So, yeah. Did I get all the coal? No, I didn't. I only do. Okay, I need to get the switch. Sort out. So, I'd be interested to know from people in the comments who decide to watch this, who probably not have much of a, an idea either, but what they'd be interested in from interested in from a new Minecraft series. I mean, there's a lot of them out there already. And trying to distinguish yourself from someone else's or from people who are already very successful is quite hard. And if you want to be moderately, at least moderately successful on YouTube, you seem to have to uh, either be very good at what you do. And I'm not saying I'm bad at what I do. I'm not bad at this game. I'm reasonable enough. It's just that there are people who are a lot better than I am, and or you have to be entertaining. Again, entertaining to lose quite because some people are on YouTube and I don't think they are that good, but people rave about them. And there are people who I think are pretty good, but people are just like they're boring, not interesting to watch at all. There are some weird people. I don't know why they do it to themselves. Maybe they're sadists or whatever, who for some reason subscribe to channels and watch them and then comment on the videos with, this is boring, why do you do this, this is so uninteresting. If you find it boring, I kind of wonder why you're watching it. It's a bit odd, but hey, different strokes for different folks, I guess. Is it daytime yet? Interestingly enough, I might be the only person in this game who finds clocks vaguely useful and uh, uses them quite regularly, because I spend a lot more time caving than anything else. Oh, crap. No, that was not a good thing to do. Oh, no. Oh, okay. You know what? Okay, let's try and deal with this creeper. Uh, how should we do it? Can get in? I think we can get in that one. Okay, here's what we do. Do that. Sorry about that. That's a dog who has been incredibly quiet up until now. He's decided to then start whimpering. Okay, let's kill him. Oh, oh, oh. Jump in. Right, okay. Need a new pick. Where did that go? Oh. That. Rally, um, rally. Oh no, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, witch! Oh. Oh, that's. Perfect. No, don't. Oh. I probably shouldn't have killed them because it's just going to attract more of them. Oh well. Oh, what do I want to do here? I want to save one bit of coal for the chest of stuff I've got. Um, what I might do is make the iron pick. I'll make the First ironing dot will go. Oh, I do that. Um, first ironing dot will go in the chest. 
Ooh, that's something better than hit shots. And there's strength, nice. And there's torch, which you can use. Now, but. Um. Yeah, let's find it. And there. Is there anything I've got? What? First uh, first gravel. Uh, first diorite and first granite, which is a very ugly block in my opinion. Uh, it's understand why they added it, because it's always nice to have new blocks. And I quite like the polished version of it, it's just raw block. It just doesn't look very nice. Uh, first pickaxe coming up. Well, first iron pickaxe. So I'm actually going to make two instead of switching the chest. Or is it more useful to make chest plate in the second deck on the first iron? Or going in the chest? I mean, this museum is going to be massive, so. I'm tempted to get first mushrooms, but. Not really. I'm going to get a cobble. Okay, I'm probably going to cut here and just find a cave, so. So I don't want to go somewhere. Quick add-on. First, uh, first pumpkin. Sheepies. Uh, yeah. So after 20 minutes of looking all around here, I found a desert, which is nice. Got that first pumpkin, which was just over there. And I got a bone. I found that. And I had to extend the chest for that bone. Um, Still didn't find a cave. And then I went over it. So yeah, good going me.